Hello Space Engineers, well it's 6012 here and welcome back to Escape in the Desert, how you doing? Hope you're all fit and well. So you find me where you left me last time, uh, it's a couple of days later but uh, I've come straight back into it from where I left off. Uh, let's just press that button. Uh, the only thing I've just done just before I turn the camera on was uh, put all these pistons into a group. So that's, uh, that's them, so they've just been renamed. Uh, right, and yes, yeah, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I had some good comments, some good feedback, saying, um, you didn't have any steel in your inventory, that's why it didn't work using this. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, so I've got that steel in there, I'm also going to put that in there as well. Just to try because then the other thing was that this is only connected by a one by one actually i'll put put some um put some things and some of those in as well yeah uh yeah so which would be why the helm doesn't work but yeah i thought i had some stuff in my inventory but anyway so i just wanted to give this a try let's just press that and up we go and there's a storm so obviously today we're just going to continue on with the uh, space elevator. So if I were to turn you on, we've got steel that can go through, and that's fine. Very good. Uh, actually, I'll just make sure I'm not in creative mode. No, I'm not. From uh, that flying. Okay, so that's that's good. Let's go into there now. I'm not expecting that this is going to work because. Because uh, I don't have any steel. Okay, so that's that's expected. But if I were to go into there, oh, okay, that's not worked because it doesn't have the thingy on it. So if I were to do that. You need interior. Okay, so I need it in my personal inventory by the looks. Oh, something's not connected. So I can't get that out. Um, how is that not connected? Okay, I guess it's not connected. <laughs> okay, let's grab some of that. Some of that, some of that. And see how we go then. Thing is, I'm... Um, Okay, I'm sure it wasn't even like it was going like that. It wasn't actually connecting up like, like before. It was saying I didn't have any steel, but at least it was um, fixing to the to the grid. So that's working. Okay, so that's good. Um, well, what I might do is just while I'm here, weld this up. And we'll weld these ones up. Okay, well that's that's good. It's it, it is working now. I'm still not super confident that that was actually working when I tried it last time because I just feel like it wasn't even connecting to the um, connecting to the grid. My word, it's got quite blustery <laughs> and dusty. All right, let's just land this. Okay, so that's um that's good. But we'll just go back to turn it by hand anyway. It's fine. Right, so I had a bit of a think about what I was going to do in regards to setting this up and things. Um, oh, I'll tell you what, I need to put a battery on. I need to put a battery on. That's right, I remember. Uh, let's get you back down. So you can reverse. You can reverse, reverse. So we'll just reset this. So that's good. We got those in. Um, we do actually need to put them on here. Out. Let's 
good. Cool. Um. Tether. That's what it's called. Replace. So that updates it. It's cool. Just here. Okay. So let's put the battery on there. Uh huh. Good. Um, yeah, so that's fine. Now. Hmm. So they need to go. So what we need is, they go up and across, yeah that'll work, so it gets above all this stuff, because this is as low as this is going to go, so let's get back into the right colour, oh storm's going away, it's good, so if we go up like that, and up like that, and up up like that. Yep, that's fine. Uh, and then the Just let me think. Let me think. Okay, then the welders. Oh, just made our hydrogen. have to recharge our bottles remind me to do that okay uh then welders so this will always stay above this mechanism okay so that's because oh, i was thinking i might have to go around the back but that's that's fine so if we do this and actually yeah, it can go on there can't it okay that that works so let's put you in there. I don't need to be wearing flying my jetpacks. Oh gosh. Okay. So like that, that's got a hole. Yeah, okay, that does on the bottom. Okay, so that's good. Uh, that will come up beside this, so we're going to need to have one over here as well. Or maybe one in the back here. Will that get this? I think it will. But we can just... We can wrangle it so it goes slower at that point. Or maybe we have one underneath. Just to make sure. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So, so if we go like, okay, I'm going to put you on there, and then we'll just put one of those on there, that'll work because then we can have that go across like that, yeah, this will work, this will work, okay, let me weld these up. It's all very complicated and technical. Uh, we can get rid of you. Because you can go on there. Uh, yep, 
That's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's just put you on there and you on there. Okay, that's cool. Right, and we'll just repeat that over this side. So we'll put... Uh, yeah, so we'll put... Where are we? That's what I want. One of them, and some of them. Okay, so I feel like that should take care of these blocks, which will take a little bit of time to do. When it's welding. Okay, so what I want to do now is those ones, the pistons, these ones, I'm just gonna have them at like 0 0.01 because there's, there's 12 pistons all together. So if they're all going at 0 0.01, that'll be equivalent to point. Well, actually, I could probably go 0 0.2, 0 0.02 because then times that by 12 and you're gonna be 0.24 meters per second, which I think is still probably gonna be absolutely quick as um, so let's just reverse those and I'm just gonna set the minimum distance to 0 0.1 and we'll reverse that just because I want uh, I want it higher than that So I want it, yeah, because I want it level with this. Yep, so let's just change that. Uh, this, and we'll make it uh, minimum distance to five. Um, yeah, that's, that's, oh, probably a little bit too much. Piston, we'll make point two. Point two will be fine. We'll leave it at that. Cool. Okay. Because what I want to do is... Oh, I'm going to need one up here. Because that'll be the landing gear. Oh, yeah, it can come around the back. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Yep. So that's that's good. Uh, yeah. So what we want to do is put... You there and... You there. You, she will just go with, just because, why not? Like that, and then put that on there like that. And then we'll put the landing gear on there like that. It's locked. Um, I was going to put one on the end as well, so it didn't sort of wobble or fall away, but I, I don't think we're actually going to need to. No, I think it'll be right. 
Okay, did I just say that twice? Yes, I did. Okay, let me weld all this up, and uh, I'll go and fill up my H2 bottles as well, and uh, put one on the other side. And uh, yeah, I think then we'll be ready to sort of give this a go. Maybe? No, I need to program it. <laughs> yep, back soon. Okay, so that's done. Uh, right, so we'll put a projector on now. Um, so I did put another set of landing gears around the back. So why not? Um, right, so we'll grab projector. Oh, and I've also put those extensions on as well. So that's, so it can grab and just, yeah, be a little bit higher. Because I feel like that's probably going to get that one it'll do de that'll definitely get that one so that'll work out that way it's ahead of the landing gears just in case stuff happens um, so let's do that and the other thing i just thought was learning my lesson from over in the iron mine let's just put a turret on for the camera Right, so we don't actually need you doing idle movement, and we don't need you on the inventory, we don't need you in the tool bar, we just want you on the thingy bob, and we'll just name it as well, you see, for space elevator. Okay, uh, this one is also called you see. Right, so let's load up the projection, and then I think we're ready to move this up. Uh, tether. Okay, which is not the right way. Needs to go. Oh, maybe that way? No, that way. And then flip it up? No. Flip it up? Ooh. The other way. That's it, I think. Yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, actually, let's just go into this view. Okay. If we do this, like that, and go into that, do that, go back into F9, then we can do stuff. Okay, so vertical. Well, that's good, that's going up. Is it going up? Yes, it's going up. Okay, uh, we'll keep the projection on. Oh, forward, of the forward. Right there, and horizontal. Beautiful. Cool. Okay, so that's that, that's good. So... I think that's it. So let's go in here and timer. There we go. Okay, so this will be build number one. And we want the landing gears to unlock. We want the pistons to. reverse and these ones to reverse as well I'll just keep them individual um, on oh, the welders to turn on welders on and I th think I think that's it so we can actually trigger that one. Hang on, let's just check the piston speeds. Double check those. So down 0.15. No, so we wanted that 0 0.025. So we've got, what, 13. So that'll be here. Okay, so that's fine. And then now there... Whoops. Okay, 
Let's try that again. Okay, 0.25. That one is... Okay. Um... Just trying to, trying to see. So they are fully extended, so they're going to need to retract, okay, and those are going to need to extend, okay. Okay, so they are currently extended and they're going to need to retract. Okay, and these ones are currently retracted and they're going to need to extend. So they'll be minus 0 0.025. Okay, so now when these reverse, it should go up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um... I'm feeling that that's too slow. So let's change that. Uh, I mean, I think it could just about go double the speed, to be honest. Slow and steady. I think it could go faster again. Hang on, let's just land on it. How fast is it actually going? Hmm. Maybe it's that's what's holding it up. Alright, now we'll just keep it at this speed. We'll just keep it at this speed, it's fine. Okay, so we'll let it go all the way, and then I'll figure out where the actual uh, connector needs to go. Well, actually, we'll figure out where the connector goes when I lift it back up. Okay, so we're going to need an event controller, probably all the way back down there, uh, but when these hit 100%, it will trigger timer number 2. So we'll need an event controller. Pop you into there. Okay, so this is going to be event controller, we'll do it, you see, number two, because it'll go with the timer number two. Okay, so let me see, okay. So, get rid of all that stuff. Okay, event controller, you see, number two. So, when... Actually, we'll set up the thing first. Okay, so timer, build number two and what that's going to want to do is when it gets up the top lock the piss that lock those uh, turn the welders off I think yeah because it should be fully extended by then uh, turn the welders off and it'll Trigger number three. No, maybe when the world is, uh, when the landing gears have a lock. So we'll turn off the event controller. They've just reached their full thing. 
that one there I'll turn the event controller on very good okay um, we'll call that one build number three and we're gonna need an event controller number three So we'll do that. Put you around that side, eh? Okay, so uh vent. Whoops. That wasn't right. Okay, so that's that. Um, where's the other? Th okay, so that one there. So number two will Trigger, she will start and we'll set it to one second. Trigger number three, uh, start number three. And number three will. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so no, what we need to do is they lock that turns off, and we need to turn on the second event controller as well, which will be for the landing gear lock. We need to turn wherever it is three we need to turn that one on as well right at the bottom okay so it's unlocked yep that should be right and well uh, okay no this is um i'm just not comfortable with unlocking and having it potentially to no because it'll turn the thing on and it won't recognize that it's unlocked yep so it'll be it'll be fine it'll be fine okay what could possibly go wrong okay so the event controller number that turns on and what we're going to want to do is uh, so when it fully extends it's going to start number two which will lock it and then when it's locked that will start number three aha okay um seem to have lost the things now there we go okay so number two when the piston is fully extended uh piston position and we're going to want that uh We'll make it 99% is greater than 99% and we can do we'll do piston number 10 just because okay um, condition yeah okay position what's its current position doesn't say Okay. Uh, select actions, and it's going to want to start number three. No. Uh, yeah, start number three, and then number three. It's going to want to start number two. Ooh. Start number two. Good thing I noticed that. Uh, okay. It's 
infections. Start number two. And number two, we will just give it five seconds. Yeah. Okay, so when number two starts, so when that's 99%, in five seconds it'll start after that. And then it'll lock. It'll turn off the welders. And then uh, this event controller. needs to be on so i'm going to want a timer so we're going to call this build uh, number one a and we'll just turn this uh we'll just have a little bit of a delay no, we don't need a delay on that. I decided against that. What am I doing? What am I doing? We'll call that number four. Okay. So this one will be on. So we needed to turn it on on the number one, didn't we? Which it's already in there. Gosh, going around in circles. Sorry, people. Um, and I've lost it controller number three okay so this is going to want to be a landing gear locked oh please tell me there's a landing gear there's a landing gear locked okay and uh, just any one of these will do what if I put multiple in what does that do they all have to be locked don't know oh uh, so that's cool and when that happens we can start the number three timer which is there start okay and the number three timer will be to reverse the pistons well no uh, turn off the merge block disconnect the connector reverse that reverse that and reverse that and I just wanted to go slow to start with reverse that because I want some grinders to turn on so I'm gonna to have to sort that out so we're currently fully extended so they are ready to lock and turn off okay that's cool right uh so what i want to do is put some grinders in under here that will connect up with these um so let's let's grab some parts and so if we go under like that because yeah i just wanted to start off slow so it'll, it'll grind these two things away I don't want them to stay on there so if I was to come down there and then come out like that would that be right yeah that'd probably be right um oh I know 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 I know, I know. Well, if we do that and then we do ooh, do that and then ha ah, we put a hinge on add a small head okay and then we can put a grinder one there and one there cool and I can just angle those across oh it needs to play what okay all right let me weld this up and program that stuff. Um, yeah, and I'll 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 come back when we're when we're ready to sort of do another another push. Stand by. Okay, so did some stuff. Uh, 
lowered that down one extra thing because yeah that's that's how i want it um yeah it was a bit too close to <laughs> but never would have done something uh right so just uh just double check the timers and i have uh oh, i had to change piston because so what it is there's there's a couple of extra timers in here hang on let me just do this properly it's the land okay so there's um there's a piston slow down and speed up um and then i've got the event controllers so what happens is that when this lets go and that lets go then it'll go up and at certain times things get turned on so that's cool but it'll just go slowly to start with and then when this reaches i think it was five percent of its distance then it will turn off i wonder if five percent is enough should we make it ten percent we'll make it ten percent and we'll get some fuel while we're at it uh, so yeah what did i set it for i think so event speed up so that sets the timer off which uh changes the speed of the pistons five percent okay i might make it ten percent just to be on the safe side and i've just gone with uh piston one because that fully extends i had on the other one piston 10 but actually that doesn't that's not fully extending so it'll ex yeah so that could have caused problems so we want this fully extending so that's that's that now the other thing is i don't think this is going to work um that this this is going to stay a station because it's currently a station i can't yeah so something that i was thinking about doing which i just really thought about i'm going to have to do actually before we get on to that i'll just finish talking about this so uh yeah when it, it it'll just slowly it reverses so it'll just go up slowly the same speed as what it's welding and then when it gets that piston gets to 10 percent uh that one there gets to 10 percent then it will uh turn the grinders off it'll speed up and when it gets up to 95 percent uh, it will slow back down so that's 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 the idea uh, I'll also have to okay I'll turn those welders off um, turn the welders off and then we will okay where where was the okay so the I think the connector was about there so the connector merge block so what I'll do is I'll lower that lower that projection down here's the best place to do it if I just sort of get it on a bit of an angle uh, projection so that one there and vertical Come on, where is it? it? Must be there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I think it goes there. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll figure that out when it um, when it goes up. Right. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't think this is. Go I think this will stay a station. I'm very confident. So, something I was thinking about doing anyway, and you can see I've started is um is actually making the whole space elevator a ship so and when it gets up higher and i build a platform that can traverse it oh is that can yes of course connected um when i build a ship that can traverse it then potentially i could put another break in it sort of further up and change the bottom section to um change the bottom section or just before we break that one we will put a connector in yeah i could break a section and put uh do exactly what i'm doing here and then convert the bottom section to to a station that's my theory 
Um, so yeah, and that's also based on something that Millman said to me uh, was his experience with doing a um, space elevator. You are very low in that hole there. Uh, was to keep the grid separate. I don't think he was referring to it being a station. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, speaking of Millman, I meant to mention as well. Uh, he's actually just doing a bit of a um, uh, lock. He's doing a a, a series, YouTube series. So just a real sort of, I believe, kind of casual. No, not casual. That's unfair. Um, but yeah, just a just a, a basic land on the earth and a few challenges but um yeah just just a, a pretty stock standard not stock standard that's not fair um <laughs> just just uh but yeah a uh, an earth survivor one starting off with a drop pod that sort of thing so uh, i'll link i'll link that at the end of the at the end of this video so if you want to jump over and have a look by all means locked okay so that's good so potentially i can merge this back to this base but yeah so millman sort of said mm, just keep it separate you know sort of stick it in the voxel i think but just have a kind of what i've done here which i can do so all i'm going to need to do is just put a connector on here and then it's only attached to the rest of the base by that little bracket down there and that little bracket down there so i can easily do that because i did think about that um yeah so that's that's that that's connected up so now potentially if i go back up here we can make this a ship, 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 ship. Um, ooh, felt that. Uh, yeah, so that's that's good. Okay, so now I think. Okay, I'm just gonna save <laughs> because I don't want. Um, did that save? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't want to... If it goes wrong, it's going to get very wrong, I think. Yeah. So, um, if we were... I think I've got everything all right. Uh, so, where's, where's the event controller? So, if it had reached... Piston... Uh, what's going on there? Oh, they've all dropped off. Why have they dropped off? Oh no, there it is. Landing gear is... Oh, because it's... What? Selected blocks. Hmm. I guess... Okay, that's interesting how that, that did that. So this needs to be that one there. Okay, select actions. Okay, so number two. All right. So that's interesting how they all dropped off. Select that. Uh, that's not what I want. Um, position slot one ninety five percent. It's disappeared. Hey, that's weird. When you convert to station, they've all dropped off. Hmm. Okay, there's there's something for new players. Uh, so that one and ten percent. See, it's still on there. It's just not on here though. Hmm. Okay, that that could have been bad. Right, but it was number two. So we've extended. So this should start. And. Up it goes. Ooh, wobbly wobbly. But that worked. <laughs> Very wobbly. Okay, so that's 10%. So we just... Okay, what's that at there now? Okay, that's... Well, that's more than 10%. Why isn't it sped up? Uh, 
Uh, I think controller. Oh, it's dropped it off again. Oh, really? That's annoying. Oh, really? So when I unmerge, it unlinks. What? Why did it do that? So now none of them are working. Oh, really? I mean, that's a bug. That is a bug. I'm going to have to use sensors. I'm going to have to go back old school. That's super annoying. But that's a bug. That's, I mean, you saw me load them in there. That's twice I've loaded them in. Um, so, okay, so the... Okay, so where's... Then control slow down select actions. Um, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so the merge. On and merge confirm. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, that. What? Now what's happening? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right um okay well i think that's where i'm going to leave it today <laughs> on that note um i'll reset it to the last save but um why did that do that why did that clang out like that? Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to sort out sensors. Why did that do that? Did something... That was weird. I don't know why that did that. Okay, I might have to do that again. We'll go back and watch the video. That's probably the easiest thing. Um... Yeah. Okay. Well, that was annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm I yeah, I'm going to leave that there because that hasn't worked. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um just give me a minute. Alright, so apologies for the abrupt finish there, but um, that's just really thrown me that last few minutes. Um, I was hoping that that would work and we would call the end to a very successful episode, but that hasn't worked for a number of reasons. So, um, yeah, I'm at a bit of a loss actually. So I think rather than turn this into a three hour episode, which I did actually consider doing something like that <laughs> over on Future Wellington's channel, um, I'm just going to have to leave it and come back next time. Um, this will publish tomorrow because that's the other thing is I am running a bit late. Um, so I do need to edit this and publish it tomorrow. So with that in mind, 
Um, if anybody's got any thoughts <laughs> within the first uh, first day or so of this publishing, I mean, even after that, absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, so there is an opportunity there to, to give some constructive criticism and feedback. Um, or how Lord Clang. Um, yeah, so hopefully you can join me again next time when we'll do stuff and uh, try and fix this mess. And until next time, as always, stay safe out there, everybody, and have a good one. <laughs>